Hello guys, it's me MP back with another video. Today I will be proving my point that spine thickness is variable for megalodon since I actually found evidence to back it up. This further shows the spine does not support elongated megalodon, thus leaving zero arguments for elongated megalodon. Now before we start, I would appreciate it if you like, share the video, and subscribe so you won't miss out on any more content. With that being said, enjoy, people. So, first of all, you all heard of IRSNBP9893 right? This is the most complete known megalodon fossil to date. And it's the same skeleton that recently started up some elongated megalodon controversies. Apparently the spine was thinner than those of the modern great white shark, which led to the hypothesis it was even skinnier than we thought. But there are issues with this argument. First of all, this is only one sample size. This is far from enough. Spine thickness is very variable in sharks. Some 5-meter great white sharks can have spines 2x thicker than other 5-meter great white sharks, so it cannot be used. We need at least hundreds of samples to prove Megalodon had a thinner spine, which will be impossible to obtain. Also, we have other spines that are much thicker than IRSNBP9893. Note that they haven't been published in papers yet, but they seem genuine enough to use. We can obvious morphological changes, proving how we need a large sample size. I will be posting the images of the spines I am referring to right now. Here is one of the megalodon spines I was talking about. The angle is a bit wonky and it cannot be compared to IRSNBP9893 but it would definitely still look a lot bulkier if it was the same angle. This megalodon spine looks pretty thick which contradicts the elongated build heavily. This shows looking at one spine isn't enough. And here is this other megalodon spine. It actually looks quite robust, similar to a great white's. This also goes against the elongated megalodon build. And guess what? The angle looks similar enough to IRSNBP9893 to the point where it can actually safely be compared. Here is a comparison I made just showing that spine and also comparing it with IRSNBP9893. Yes the Peruvian spine is a bit bent. But even if it wasn't it would still look a lot shorter than IRSNBP9893. The Peruvian spine seems to be noticeably a lot thicker than IRSNBP9893 at equal lengths, showing that using one sample isn't enough. This is something very important. So, to put it simply, we do not have enough sample size to prove Megalodon has a thinner spine than the Great White Shark. I just showed two different samples, and they seem to be quite robust compared to Great Whites. IRSNBP9893 isn't enough. So, in conclusion, since I established spine thickness is variable in megalodon we need at least 100 samples to prove it was elongated, and even that would be impossible to obtain. Anyways with that being said, peace. Se coma ese señor, el megalodón. Se coma tu familia, el megalodón. Que muere con dolor, el megalodón. Se come un vídeo beta, el megalodón. Con euro con el ton, el megalodón. Se come un megalodón, el megalodón. Que salga con el flor, el megalodón.